This is what I want you to do. Imagine yourself <clears throat> sitting Indian style, legs crossed, on the ground. And there's a circle around you. You literally are drawing a circle around yourself. You are in your circle. Over here is a circus. Over here is a stage, like a Broadway play, with actors and directors and producers and music. And over here is a, uh, a parade going on. So you have three things going on, all vying for your attention. Okay? The circus, the stage, and the parade. But you are in your circle. And you start to lean towards the circus and what happens. You, they get your attention, you get their attention, they start pulling you into the circus. The play that's going on, the stage that's in front of you, the director is saying, hey, we need one more actor on this stage to complete this drama. And they're trying to get you to be a cast member. And then in the parade, there's freaks and there's all kinds of things happening and walking down the street, and they want you to walk down the street with them. But you're not going to, because you're in your circle. You're sitting there Indian style, legs crossed, and you're just watching it. And you know how you don't get let down, especially if those three things are people in your life, is that you adjust your expectations of all those people. Adjust your expectations. When you adjust your expectations and you are committed, and you are committed to your circle, your circle that's around you, you have peace. You're not drawn in to the circus, the stage play, the parade. You're in your circle and there's peace. And it takes practice because your whole life You've been drawn into these things, and you don't want to be. And they're pe most likely they're people that you love. Most likely they're people that are in your family. Do you have to close the door, boom, and shut people out? I'm done with them. You're dead to me. Do you have to do that? No, you don't have to do that. They're still your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousin, whatever. They are still going to be your blood no matter what you do, and you'll feel bad, and 20 years will go by, 30 years will go by, and you won't talk to people, but they are still your flesh and blood. You just don't have to be part of their circus. And when you make up your mind, and you are decisive, that you're not going to be a clown in this circus, you're not going to be an actor on this play, and you're not going to be someone in this parade, you're in your own circle. But you join those things out of guilt. You join those things because that's all you know how to do. Behaviorally, that's what you do. You join the circus. I'm asking you, don't join the circus. Don't step on the stage. Don't walk in the parade. And you'll have peace. You'll be able to sleep at night. You'll be a spectator if you want, but you will no longer be a participant. So what you say to yourself is this, I refuse to be a participant in that circus. I refuse to be a participant in that play. I refuse to be a participant in that parade. And you make up your mind. You don't dwell on your decision. When you're decisive, boom, decisive means you make a decision and you move on. That's it.